All right, hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about relations and functions. So a relation is just any set of ordered pairs. So it doesn't matter what the ordered pairs are, as long as it is a set of ordered pairs. So remember an ordered pair is just an X and a Y. Your X is your input, your Y is your output. So if we have this set of ordered pairs, two, three, four, five, five, six, two, five, and I'm looking at that set of ordered pairs, um, I have two inputs that occur twice. So the first ordered pair is a two, and then the last ordered pair that input is a two. And I notice that the first time it gives me a three, the second time it gives me a five. So those are not the same. And so this is just a relation because those are not the same. So for something, for a relation to be a function, and a function is just any relation where each input has exactly one output. So for this relation to be a, a function, if this last ordered pair where it gave me a five were to be a three, then it would be a function because when I put in two, I get three. When I put in two, I would get three, but it's not because it gives me a three the first time and a five the second time. So since they have the same input with different outputs, they are not a function and it is just a relation. All right, so down here I have some examples of functions and relations written out differently. So if you're looking at a graph, you can tell if it is a function or a relation because it passes the vertical line test. If you draw a vertical line on a graph and it passes through your graph one time, then it passes the vertical line test and it is a function. If you draw the vertical line like the zigzag one and it touches it more than once and this one touches it three times, it fails the vertical line test and it is just a relation. If we're looking at a table, you can see on the first table, it's going to be a function because I'm looking at the x values, 0, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. I see that 1 repeats. I have the same input, so I have to look at the output. The first input for 1 gives me a 3. The second time, it also gives me a 3. Since the outputs are the same, it is a function. In the second table, I have 0, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 5. So 2 is input twice. I have the same input, so I have to look at the outputs here. So the first time it gives me a 3, the second time it gives me a 2. So they have the same input but a different output, so that is just a relation. So anytime you're looking and trying to decide if a relation is a function, look at your x values. If your x values are all different, then it's going to be a function. If you have the same input and it gives you the same output multiple times, it is a function. If you have the same input and different outputs, then it is only a relation. Or if it passes the vertical line test, it's a function. If it doesn't pass the vertical line test, it is only a relation. All right, so hopefully this helps you on your assignment for today. You just had to label um, relations as being a function or just a relation. You can drag the box over to your answer um, and hopefully that helps.